Well, fingers crossed that two local estate agents can be the bearers of good news. I like the accommodation because it does have the three separate bedrooms upstairs. And I think what most people do like is having an upstairs bathroom. The layout downstairs is very sociable. It's becoming much more commonplace to have the kitchen and dining room together because it allows families particularly to mix. So I think that's going to work very well indeed. One of the main things they haven't done is they've only partially done the double glazing at the back. I think because of where it is, it really ought to be double glazed at the front as well. I think the owners have done the right thing leaving the windows because if you look along the terrace, it matches the rest of the houses so it doesn't spoil the look. So, will there be any profit to put towards James's wedding? The house cost 133,000 at auction and the outlay so far is 22,000, making a total of 155 grand. How much could it now be worth? If I were to put this property on the market, I would do so for 175,000 pounds. On the basis that they're going to finish it to a nice standard, I'd be looking at marketing it somewhere in the region of 180,000 pounds. Those valuations are 20 to 25,000 pounds more than they've spent so far, but the gross profit will be reduced as they still have to finish off the house. So can the wedding arrangements now be signed off? What does it cost us now? I think about 155. Uh, so 175. Yeah, we'd be happy. That'll pay for your honeymoon, and that <laughs> just about. <laughs> Well, I'm sure James has lots of other things on his mind now. But once the house is sold and James returns from his honeymoon, would they go to another auction and buy another property? Yeah, we would. Um, yeah, definitely. Keep looking and uh, if the right house comes along, we'll be interested.